残り<笑> What? 2021 Nissan Note E Power that is giving us trouble with the airbag control module. Apparently, one of the pretensioners is giving us trouble. Is it a short circuit? Is it a broken cable? Let's diagnose this together. Here we go. So, because we're going to diagnose airbag kind of stuff, uh, usually you're not taking any chance before diagnosing any type of module, especially activators like airbag. A pretensioner, you should disconnect the total battery first. Done. Now, let's check the connection. Well, the left hand that is giving us a current code, apparently, uh, I'm not seeing anything wet here. Let me see. It's, it's, it's not wet. The connection looks fine. Oh, I'm gonna have to check the other side now. Also confirming because very common issues are uh, the chassis grounds, but the chassis ground is actually well tight. So the other side, pretensioner connection looks good apparently as well. No water, absolutely nothing. The ground is also perfect mm. so i'm gonna have to check the module okay no need power taking out everything in three two one yes everything's out oh look that's the airbag module let's check it out i am a little skeptical because i can clearly see over here in a sec let me show you yeah this module has definitely been taken out sometime i can see old marks over here yep this was taken out for some reason so let me disconnect so now it's easier to make my diagnosis. All right, we could say we have a clean space now to work. Now it is obvious that during this procedure, before disconnecting that, I'm also going to clean the high voltage battery cooling system. Because remember, e-power cars do not have any air cooling filter to the high voltage battery, whether it's this side and the other side. And then of course, the last component is the cooling fan, which is ridiculously hard to take it out and of course i'm gonna clean it as well now i realize that uh, there is absolutely no humidity there is no water inside and the cable that goes from the battery control module the, uh, sorry the airbag control module through this wire over here to the pretensioner looks like fine physically but i'm still gonna load test it and also the same wire that goes right there to the pretensioner i need to check continuity as well now this little back cover is supposed to go in this position why is it like this now, physically, the airbag module looks fine. I'm not seeing any pin, any broken pin, any bent pin. So I'm going to test continuity now. Oh, holy cow. Is this deploy? Uh oh, something is wrong. OK, so the code is telling me that the LAP pretensioner left hand side is giving me a problem, which is the pin number one and number two, pin number 75, and 74, the computer. Let me find it right here. On the main connection, it's supposed to be a gray cable with the violet. Let's check continuity between, I wanna check continuity between this unit and the airbag control module first. Okay, violet and green, and the connection, the pin number one and number two, right over here. Let me measure continuity. Okay, by probing the connection, I see that we have continuity. Let me check the other pin. Now we have a problem. We have a resistance over here in connection or short circuit between these two pins. And these are the two pins from this connection. What's going on with this cable? Is it, is it corroded? Well, it looks like something is going on with this cable, so I'm gonna open it up. Here we go. But apparently until the connection of the computer, it's fine. But once I check in the cable right here next to the pretensioner, look what I found. Uh-oh, something is wrong here with the cable. What the hell? Here we go. Uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. You guys won't believe it, I found a problem. Check this out. All right. So the main connection, I see something happening in this, but once I take it out, all right, let me take it out carefully. And <laughs> okay, let me continue. Look what I <laughs> What? So hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let me take it out and you will, and you'll see. Oh my God, I can't believe they did it. So they put a resistor in between one of them. You know what that means, right? That this pretensioner, uh, fire up sometime this vehicle probably got into an accident mm, i'm not sure if they bust the cable or the or this pretension and fire up and they didn't replace it and they just put look a resistor in between the cable so the next part is i'm going to check now the right hand side pretensioner are we going to find another resistor in this part as well let's see <laughs> all right <laughs> check this out <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I can't believe they did it, man. What? Okay, so basically they short the cable, okay, to fool the computer, putting a resistor. This is not the problem. The problem is that this was deployed. Woo! 
So, uh, yeah, we got a diagnosis. Most for sure, not solve this problem. You're gonna have to replace this unit, replace the airbag control module, and that should solve the issue because the only units that are giving me trouble is these two. How come? Well, this is actually a big scam. Instead of replacing the part, they just put a resistor that probably costs nothing less than a dollar. And that's how you fool the computer. The problem is you, can, you can't always fool the computer complete because the computer has an, uh, the computer is always monitoring the standard resistor of each one of the loads. <sighs> it doesn't really surprise me the kind of shit that happens with this type of vehicle after accident. And I'm not surprised either because it's actually a very common issue. Anyway, we got to diagnose. Let's see, but most for sure, we're gonna have to change the pretension and the airbag control module. Stick around for this and see you then, bye-bye.